Hello again to video number five, I believe, of Science Robertson's Revision videos. I'm going to do now some examples of different chemical reactions and some that we just need to know. We need to know about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is how plants make their energy. It works like this. Plants need water. They need CO2. And those combine with sunlight to make oxygen. And they make glucose. Plants do this because they want to make glucose. They want glucose because that means they can get energy any time they like. Whenever they want it, they can get it. Because plants then, for example, when it's dark, can do respiration, which conveniently is the opposite. It's glucose and oxygen that come together to make some water, CO2, and also it makes some energy that the plant or the animal or whatever can use. I've put it like this here because the energy is not a real thing as such, but there is energy made, and that is respiration. These two things, if you're really clever, you will notice they are the opposite of each other. What this means in the perfect world is that the plants use carbon dioxide and the animals use oxygen, but then the plants make oxygen and we make carbon dioxide and they should always be in a balance. But they're not. As you will know, the CO2 level across the world in the last 100 years has been something like this. It's gone up, 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 up. The CO2 level has rose. That is because of another chemical reaction. As humans have been doing lots of respiration, but most importantly, lots of combustion. Combustion is when we have a fuel, so anything that we burn, and we are able to react it with oxygen, and that makes two products. It makes some water, I'll write as H2O. Which is usually steam and we can't see it because it's so hot to burn something. And it also makes CO2. So, us humans, because we've done so much burning of fuel, we've made more CO2 than normal, so the CO2 level has gone up. Certainly, one factor of global warming as well. The trick is you don't have to remember these all word by word. But you need to know why maybe plants struggle to survive sometimes or how we make our energy as human beings. The main trick in this comes in recognizing what is a chemical reaction. For example, if I have water and I turn it into ice. That is not a chemical reaction. If I have glass and then I break the glass, that is not a chemical reaction. If I have my pen and then I write on the board, 
that is not a chemical reaction. All these things here, the atoms are still the same. My water atoms, they have a new form. They go from a liquid to a solid. But all of these are examples of physical changes. I can take my ice and I can make it back into water. I can take my broken glass and I can make it back into the same glass. I can take the ink from the board and I could put it back into the pen. There's been no chemical reaction. In a chemical reaction, I make something new. A new product is made. So for example, if I did burn something, that oxygen I had was being turned into carbon dioxide. It's a new product. I've made something new. If I, for example, choose to and my body breaks down those long carbohydrates and I make them into smaller individual ones. I am making something new. There's been a chemical reaction. That's the key difference. Remember, as well, some key words that could come up. So remember that a compound is two or more elements going together. And the elements are the individual things you can find on the periodic table. You know, iron, gold, oxygen, carbon. That is different from the mixture where they are not joined together. And I can just say things. Because they might be elements, but I can have a mixture of carbon dioxide and water. It doesn't have to be elements. Two or more things not chemically joined together. the mixture. For example, if I have carbon dioxide, that's a compound. There's two different elements. There's C and there's O, carbon and oxygen. I have a mixture of sand and salt. Put some sand here, put some salt here. There's no reaction. I have sand and salt just in one container. It's a mixture. So it always make to look and check how that compound works, if you have a chemical reaction or not. Thank you.